So, to say the least, this printer has started doing something very unhealthy uh, tonight. Um, this is an HP DeskJet 845C, and the camera's probably not going to have a great time focusing because of how low light this is. Let me fix that. But anyway, uh, I'm going to guess that the power may have sagged enough that this thing just doesn't even know what the heck's going on anymore running both heaters. I, I need to fix my power delivery out here, but I'm not sure of that. And you could see when I opened the door it didn't do anything, but we can perhaps take a little bit of a look at what might happen if we send a test print job. Let's see, print test page, go. So, waiting for printer to be... Okay, so it doesn't see the printer. But anyway, let's see if I'm right about this. <laughs> Turn that off. It's still going crazy, but let's try a power reset. I have a switch up here. Well. Well. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I really hope this is this thing isn't dead. <laughs> but um, I guess the next thing to rule out is a power supply. Um, but I wonder if this means something. If this is like kind of just this printer like throwing. I don't know if they'd be various registers up here or what. But like this one is a very steady blink rate, I'd say. Uh, and then this one it almost is. Uh, but it stutters sometimes, and then this one seems almost completely random. Um, but you can see it doesn't respond to that. Let's, uh, let's see what happens if, um, turn, okay. So why has it, why has it survived that? What happens when that closes? It's not seeding the cartridge, but it sometimes takes a minute. I mean... I don't... I think it's turning off. Yeah. But uh, what I tried to do is get it to print a test page. Um, okay, so close that again. Let it work over. No. I think you have to hit them at like the exact same time, so it's not very easy sometimes. Hmm. Okay. Nope. Oh, look at that, look at that. It didn't make the make it out before it started losing its mind. Uh-oh. <laughs> Seems that uh, may have accidentally found some kind of island of stability. Uh, and may have found it again. <laughs> uh, honestly, it seems like maybe the ROM is shot. Let's take a look at the power supply first before we go making wild assumptions that are probably not true. Uh, if I can find that anyway. Um, unlike my 920C, which, to threaten it a little bit, my 920C could quite easily take over uh, in operations for this, but unlike that, this thing uses an uh, AC adapter much like a laptop. Uh, in fact, I think it's almost like a similar voltage to a laptop, but um, much lower wattage. In fact, this thing is very big, but let's see, it's supposed to be 18 volts, 1.1 amp hour. So that the only thing that could actually be powered like with that kind of power is a netbook, maybe, but that would probably have even a... a uh, larger AC adapter to take care of the battery. Um, let's see, uh, I'm going to set you down for a minute. 
because I need to open this thing. Okay. This is a very nice multimeter um, so far. There's a couple of things with it that uh, I don't quite like, but perhaps subject to its own review sometime, but it's a Kai Wheats HT206D right there. And I've been told, and I do agree, that this sounds like a microwave when you turn it on. Oop. Okay, so we're in DC. Oh uh, yeah, here's one of those things that I don't like. Oh, wrong one. But uh, You can turn that on, but it will stay on for, relatively speaking, a very short amount of time. It's not good. But let's... Uh, the laptop is making noises. I don't like that. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, it turned off, but ignore the negative. But, I mean, frankly, that's what it's supposed to be. Um, uh, give or take a little bit, but that's well within tolerance. And I think this one is supposed to be... 19, but that's definitely not going to fit, um, unfortunately. So, but this printer never really had issues at all before whatever has gotten into it today. Um, it's still possible maybe something's making noise on the line, and it doesn't like that at one bit, but let me see if I can find something... Um, to use with this. Worst case scenario, I do have another power supply. Frankly, there is a question of why there's two, and if it was known to do this in the past, but um, I'll go get that, uh, unless I have something out here. With something as simple as a printer, I do see there being a potential for being wrong, but likely not. But anyway, uh, I have just a laptop AC adapter. It runs it um, I better not plug it in there. It runs at uh, 19 volts and more than enough amps. But we'll see. At present, it's thinking about stuff, contemplating life. It is normal for it to hang here for a little bit, but yeah, okay, so now it goes good. Let's see. Turn it off, turn it back on. So, I, I still don't know if I can manage to do this, because it requires quite the amount of dexterity, but... Aha! I don't know if it was just because it was dying earlier that it couldn't do that, or if I actually got it right this time. But we'll see if it happens to print anything remotely useful. Um, let's see. The 920C, I think, is... It's like a timepiece... Um, just like a random pile of garbage uh, <laughs> on it, but uh, this one I think is just a kite, very simple kite. Uh, apparently there was already something on here, but <laughs> oh well. There, There is a question that I think black currently needs to be revitalized. Um, I think it's clogged, but this is all in color anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm talking a lot, but... <laughs> But, yes, uh, and it looks like the color's slight, oh dear. Well, isn't that something? How does it, how does it manage to print a page completely correctly and then immediately go back to that? Let's see if, uh, you suppose having the USB port unplugged is any different? It's just plugged into a Raspberry Pi. There's not much... Shouldn't be much possible to happen there. But... Okay. Let's give it another chance to mess up by... Okay. Well, it's not. I don't know how the pet Raspberry Pi would start having issues now. But I think we've determined 
that it must not be the power supply. Let's see if I can manage to find where that plugs into. Come on, it's right there. If someone has told me everything I have is broken. In fact, I think multiple people. Uh, and it seems that they're right sometimes. Hmm. Let's see, I'm gonna try to leave you sitting in view of that. Okay. So, well, okay. So let's see what happens. I'm going to make it print test page now. Processing, rendering, it said. Uh, in all likelihood, if this does print, remember it's not going to do black, but it says it's printing page one, which definitely would imply that it's communicating with the printer. Um, however, Nothing is happening. Um, in fact, the printer has dropped off the face of the earth as far as the computer is concerned. Well, Raspberry Pi. Oh, look at that. Unplug the USB cable, and that was all it needed to throw a fit. It's not looking for good for this printer, I won't lie. <laughs> um, and, but there is, I guess maybe, the possibility of hooking it up directly to a computer and seeing if anything sticks to the wall as far as printing goes. So let's try that. Okay, so I have a ThinkPad here. I think this thing already has HP desk chat drivers of some description. And why is this not working? Come on. Watch, I'm gonna... Last time I hit control, and then that was enough for it to be like, Oh, a fingerprint! But anyway, um... That one's... <laughs> why is everything I have broken? <laughs> but anyway, uh, that connected. Um, it's currently in its state of a fit. Um, computer didn't detect anything. Well, it certainly didn't make a noise, if it did. Um, let's see, that's... that can be binned. That doesn't exist. That also doesn't exist. Okay, so that right there is the printer. Um, let's see. Could that be enough to make it appear ready, it says. Oh, we're copying a driver. Are we going to have two of these? Um, frankly, that's mildly concerning that this doesn't have... Uh, <laughs> apparently, it doesn't have uh, signed drivers. And I had that pointed way off into space, sorry. But anyway, print test page. And it prints, so... What the heck? <laughs> I suppose there's a question of whether or not it's actually going to su successfully print anything. Um, I'm going to guess yes, but I don't know why. And we can also take a look and see if after printing it happens to immediately go back to not existing. Uh, okay, so this one... Oh, that thing's shutting off. But uh, this thing had a time when it was set to print in only black and white, so that's why there's no color. Because um, for a long time I didn't have a working color cartridge, but um, basically my black cartridge, for whatever reason, needs to be cleaned frequently, so nothing's actually wrong with it. It's just dirty. But it didn't blow up. So, 
can we do the same thing now? Just reconnecting to the other thingy. So that's connected. It's not even throwing a fit yet. Um, oh dear. So let's move over to the other printer. Oh, I know, you're still on. Okay, so this thing is still reporting as offline, which is not a not a great start. Um but as far as the printer is concerned, everything is awesome. It definitely is well, I don't know if you saw that, but it definitely was sending a job to the printer. Um, whether or not it's doing anything is anyone's guess, but let's cancel that test page. And we'll have a different job. Or so I thought. Whatever. Let's print. Let's do that. Oh. So, really, I don't know. So, evidently, it's some kind of problem between the Raspberry Pi and this thing. So, frankly, I, I have no realistic idea what this thing's problem actually is. Uh, so, if any of you actually have some kind of idea, uh, do feel free to let me know. Um, it seems to be at least not entirely a problem with the printer itself, which is certainly interesting. In any case, I guess I'll wrap up the video here. If I do happen to solve this at some point, I'll certainly leave something in the video description mentioning as to what exactly I happen to do. Um, but until that point, um, please feel free to leave any suggestions or comments, or even questions, I guess, that you might have. Um, but... Thanks for watching, and have a good day, or night, or whatever.